this chat GPT stock could 10x. Hello and welcome back to the Stock Dork, your source for the best stock market trends and investment opportunities across the internet. We're happy to see you back this week. Today we're going to talk about AI. Why? Well, the recent boom in artificial intelligence stocks fueled by the launch of ChatGPT is sending investors looking for more hot picks in this industry. But almost all of the action happening is in big tech like Microsoft or Amazon, where you probably won't get the kind of returns you're looking for. In today's video, we're going to share our favorite AI stock that is already blowing up, one that could give you returns many times over. We'll explain why we believe this stock will do well, add a few caveats, and add a bonus competitor stock that also looks set for superlative returns. So stay tuned and let's begin. But before we jump into it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the best stock ideas on the internet. C3 AI is an enterprise AI software company. It has a comprehensive suite of applications and tools for businesses to digitally transform their current applications into more intelligent ones. It was founded in 2009 by Tom Siebel, the former Oracle exec and founder of Siebel Systems. He was the brain behind ERPS, creating specialized enterprise software applications tailored for marketing, sales, and customer service in the 90s. Its solutions are currently used in large industries such as energy, manufacturing, healthcare, financial services, and government. Now, let's talk about how C3.ai makes money. The company earns primarily through its subscription services and professional fees. In its most recent quarterly report, the revenue from subscriptions was $59.5 million, up by 26% over the previous year. And to top it off, the rolling fourth quarter revenue was also up by 7% against last year. Until now, the business was working on a pure play subscription service. But from this quarter onwards, the management has decided to transition to a pay per use option. That's a proven way to rapidly increase the customer base for SaaS players. You may be wondering, who does C3.ai provide solutions for? Well, there are as many as 236 enterprises on board, most of which are large corporations and government bodies. Some of the big names in its list of customers are Shell, SHEL, the Department of Defense, and the US Air Force. Its solutions work in the domains of reliability, financial services, CRM, defense services, sustainability, supply chain management, the public sector, and the oil and gas sector. Phew, that was a mouthful, but you get the point. Why is C3 blowing up right now? Ever since the launch of ChatGPT, the company's stock has more than doubled its value. This is because all AI stocks are rallying, but there's something else that might fuel C3 in the long run as well. On January 31st, C3 announced the launch of the C3 Generative AI Product Suite. Its first product, Enterprise Search. The search platform offers companies a natural language interface that enables users to quickly identify and see all the necessary information from their enterprise's entire data system. This is sure to offer an unprecedented user experience to those who use it. This new product suite combines the most cutting edge technology from OpenAI, Google, and academic research. It integrates conventional GPT applications like ChatGPT and GPT-3 into its enterprise's AI products. Here's what CEO Thomas Siebel had to say about its enterprise search module. C3 generative AI fundamentally changes the human computer interaction model to enterprise application software. Combining the full potential of natural language, generative pre-trained transformers, enterprise AI, and predictive analytics will change everything about enterprise computing. Ever since the launch of this product, C3 stock has gone up significantly. At a small scale, C3 has already done what Microsoft is trying to do with Bing. Crazy, right? C3 is one of the few AI companies that is targeting enterprise customers. It has a strong track record and is already working with large-scale clients, including big names in the government. With its generative AI product, it is now uniquely positioned to service many other industries, such as BFSI, automotive, healthcare, telecommunications, and IT, where its presence is relatively weaker. 
Generative AI is a market that is growing at a 35% compound annual growth rate, and C3 is one of the few pure play AI stocks in the market right now. Other players such as Amazon, Microsoft, and Apple are entertaining this industry from a whole different background. Any potential gains in their stock will be weighed down by their other businesses. Its smaller size means that C3 can deploy new AI technologies rapidly and keep up with the fast-changing landscape of generative AI. If you're enjoying this video, do us a favor and circle over to that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't so we can continue to provide you with the best stock ideas on the internet. But before you jump in, it's important to remember that C3 has a lot of potential, but you need to be careful about some things before putting in your hard-earned money. Like most startups in the AI landscape, the firm is currently in losses. In FY 2022, its net loss increased threefold to $129 million, despite having a revenue of only $253 million. Some financial analysts are predicting that it might see a net loss of $304 million in FY 23. A third of its revenues come from its joint venture with Baker Hughes, a giant in the energy sector. This partnership is expected to expire in FY 25. If it does not get renewed, this could be a potential dampener for the company's future prospects. What about its competitors? While the field of enterprise AI is so wide right now that there is a scope of several competitors, the one stock that I would compare to C3.AI is Palantir. Palantir Technology specializes in big data analysis. It was founded by Peter Thiel, Nathan Gettings, Joe Lonsdale, Stephen Cohen, and Alex Karp in 2003. It has three big data platforms in its kitty. Gotham, designed for government agencies. Boundary, which serves enterprise customers in energy, financial, industrial, and aerospace. And Apollo, which is the operating system behind all three. Plantier Gotham has been used by counterterrorism analysts at USIC and DOD. Reportedly, it was used to track down Osama bin Laden in 2011. The US government also used it for tracking and deporting undocumented immigrants. With this kind of reputation, which is huge, Plantier Foundry gets a decided edge in the enterprise private sector space. Plantier's revenue rose by 41% in 2021, and its expected growth in 2022 is 23%. However, the business does not have any offerings in generative AI, which is the most happening tech right now. So, should you buy C3.AI? There's a lot of buzz around generative AI right now, and C3 is making all of the right moves. By integrating advanced models like ChatGPT in its product, it is cashing in on the big wave. But will generative AI pan out in the future? Will C3 be able to use it successfully? These are the questions whose answers only time can tell. If you're looking to take a big risk and hope for returns, C3.AI might turn out to be a good option. Otherwise, there are safer stocks to put your money in. Will you buy C3.AI? Tell us in the comments below. We want to know. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe to our channel by pressing the bell icon below, and we'll catch you next time.